Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystals. So today's video is all about setting up my Erin Condren planner for 2021. So this is my new planner. It starts July 1st, 2021. So I've got my stickers and everything ready and we're going to set this up. So I'm going to talk you through everything I've used and why and I'll link everything underneath as well in case there's anything you see. So first of all, when I open up this planner, we'll start over here. So I've got this sticky notepad. It comes with 30 sheets of sort of sticky paper. And I say sticky, it's just sticky right at the top there. So that's designed to sort of sit in, well, I'd say the margin of a standard life planner, but you could obviously just stick it wherever you needed to in your sort of general day. This is the daily planner and it's for July to December 2021. But like I said, I'll talk you through exactly my thoughts behind how I've done everything and why I've done everything as we go through. So I've just popped that there where there's like the perfect slip for it. Although you could put pens or whatever you want in it. And then I've got a couple of these page markers. These are again from a pretty new collection and I'll link them underneath. These here are little page flags. These are actually from Amazon. I got a whole collection of stuff from Amazon that included some dividers, lots of different coloured paper, as well as these page flags. And you'll see how I've used them in this planner going forward and a really good deal. So I'll link them underneath in case it's something that you are on the lookout for. So these are just some more sort of standard size sticky notes from a planner subscription I had ages ago. Um, and they just fit well in here because obviously these are card slots. But for right now, when I'm just using it in the house and don't need to take it out, I will just put some other bits and pieces in. And I thought this was pretty cute as well. This came in the little sort of free pack that comes when you buy a planner from them. So a lot of it's just about decor. But at the same time, these are sort of things I will find quite useful. So there is a pocket behind here and I've put the perpetual calendar that comes in here and there and my plans for the perpetual calendar is to write a line a day starting on the 1st of July either something I'm grateful for or something just to remember from that day so the idea is then in a year's time I'll have a whole record of every day of that year it's something I've always meant to do and never got around to but I thought if I keep it in here and it just gives me that space a line a day ready to write things down so moving on over here so the vellum cover in this particular year's diary is completely blank and I actually prefer it when it's got a bit more going on. So I've used a selection of stickers here and the stickers are all Erin Condren stickers. They've come from different sort of things that they do. So some of them came from this sticker book and this is where I got the kind of quotes from here. Um, and some of the other bits and pieces again from here. Then a little bulldog clip. The pencil came from the Cool for School sticker book edition three. And then this sticker came from like a special edition we got in a previous seasonal surprise box. Um, and these I think are just sold on the Erin Condren site. I got a bundle years ago of this Peace, Love and Stickers folder and it has all kinds of things in. So that's where I obviously got that little firework one from and there's all kinds of stuff in here that I've used and the, this is one of the sheets from a previous seasonal surprise box where I got some of the other kind of stickers from and also um, this one that's got like flowers and stuff on which obviously goes with the theme of this planner because the theme of this planner is floral. So yeah, so I've just stuck all those things on there so you can still see through sufficient to see my name and stuff and I'm going to put my telephone number in case I were to misplace the planner uh, but at the same time it's got some nice little quotes and nice things to look at. Then moving on over here, so this is your six month goal page so you can see I've kind of decorated it with the months that correspond with this sort of six month time period and for this I used the monthly collection edition six um so i just obviously flipped to the relevant months and took out the month um the month that we were using there and then used some of the other decor stickers from the same book just to kind of decorate it a little bit so my plan for this page is to put some like special dates that are important to me and my family or anything i need to be aware of that kind of thing um or maybe something we're looking forward to 
So I've got a few ideas and I'll see how it works when I actually use the page. Then over here, I had originally planned to do this a little bit different. So I pulled out these dot stickers, which are from Erin Condren. Now I've used these before and you can basically stick them over the dates um, and depending on which colour you use, you can actually still see the date through it, although it's easier with the lighter colours. Um, but then I decided, I don't know, I think because I've got two children and they've both got slightly different school dates, when I had a day where they were both doing it, I'd have two stickers on and it just got a little bit confusing. So instead I've just gone super simple and I've just gone with highlighter colours. So I can easily see at a glance in a six months period, when they're off school, when they're in school, when they've got teacher training days and stuff like that. And then I'm potentially planning on doing the same here in the 2022 section, just to mark out all the dates for that. Although the way I plan to use this planner is I only plan to carry a couple of months at a time just to make it lighter and easier to carry. Um, but again, I'll explain that as I go through. So it might be that every time I put in the next six months, I'll obviously get another one of these. So then perhaps I'll just um, either transfer it or I have it in the newer one. So we're going into July. So I have started planning out my July. So this is how I've kind of set it up. You can see a lot of the fun things are all concentrated over in one sort of section and not so much is going on elsewhere, but such is life. So you can see I've used the right hand side here. It did say notes, but I've stuck a sticker in that says to do. And then I've just got a list of um, little to do's that I need to get done this month. Then I've obviously used various stickers to just mark things I'm looking forward to. So again, these different stickers are all from different sticker books. Erin Condren ones. I've tried to keep most of the stickers Erin Condren in so that it would be easier if you're an Erin Condren fan to find some of the stickers. So these are the three books I used. So the school one, the floral designer sticker book from the new collection and the edition five designer sticker book. So this washi here actually came from the floral sticker book. Um, and like I said, they're all from different ones, really. The only difference is the puppy sticker, which came from Duke Luke Designs over on Etsy, which is why I've stuck there. Um, but yeah, mostly they have come from Erin Condren. And yeah, that's my kind of month. So I'll probably add a few more things in when I know what's happening in July. I think I'm still a bit wary about planning too far in advance with plans constantly being changed. You may see here we're actually getting a new puppy on that day. So um, a lot more plans will come on the back of that. So as soon as I've got a bit more detail, I'll, ha I'll have additional things like jabs and stuff to add in. I've not put anything on here just yet. I wasn't sort of sure how I wanted to use this section because, I mean, I was originally thinking, oh, I'll have like my to do's and things I need to do this month, but I've got that on the monthly spread. So I'm a little, uh, I don't know what to use this for. So let me know what you use it for, what you're thinking. Potentially, I might use it for some financial planning or something, but then this is a diary that I eventually plan to actually take into work with me. And I'm thinking, do I really want to um, take financial information into work? Probably not. So it depends what you're using your diary for. So these are just some like to do's and things that I needed to remember. I've not uh, massively gone crazy for designing stuff because, like I said, plans are still a little bit in flux. So I've just written things down where I need to. But I do like the style of planning. This is what I've been using for the last year in my standard life plan and the daily plan and I just find it works really well for my day to day because I have a lot of meetings and appointments with people in my day job these are perfect because it's got the times so I can just easily sort everything in um, and I use a lot of highlighters to just draw a line and mark off a timing in my meetings and stuff so it's super simple doesn't cost a lot to kind of maintain in that way with just using a highlighter but it makes it super easy for me to see where I'm up to with meetings and stuff. Obviously to do in this section here, I can write down work things. I can write down whatever I need to do outside of work. So there's lots of options. So then what I've done then, I've not yet planned for the other months, but I've got August and all of August in here. I've got all of September. So I've got three months worth of plans where the entire month is in here. But then what I've done is I've just for October, November, December, left in the monthly plan so that I can plan ahead for October. But then that's all I've kept in, just the monthly plan. Same again for November and then same again for December. And the reason I've done this is because I didn't want to have to carry around six months worth of pages because I thought I could manage without it just using the monthlies and I can add the pages in when I need to. 
then the sticker things that were included and then this is what i was talking about when i said about amazon so these are all specific things that i do in my day job so i've used this label maker to create all of these different labels here this is just a simple dymo one it was a fairly reasonably priced one on amazon again i'll link everything underneath then as part of that pack i got all these like colored sheets of paper and then these dividers which with them being florally as well and kind of they went along a similar theme to the likes of the planner itself so that's why i went for these as well i thought it was a good fit but yes yeah, so there's different papers i got a lot more paper than this but again i've only really put in what i need then flipping to the back i've put this in and this is a this week's focus you can get a daily version as well so if you had a weekly planner and you just wanted a daily focus you might want to use that but these are the medium sized notepads so any medium sized notepad from erin condren is going to fit here this is just one i thought would work quite well um so i've just put that there just so that if i need to just have a bit of extra time to plan out that day or really focus down on something then that is where i can do it so that is all i have got in here for now that is all i plan to have in here and i think it'll work well obviously as i'm adding additional pages for work it's going to bulk it out a little bit as well so hopefully i've left enough room for that um it might be i find that i need to carry the whole extra three months with me but we shall see the great thing about this with the rings i can just add in and out when i need to without having to do anything before i'm ready to or before i actually need to so i think it's a a good uh, way of doing it and then the pen i choose to use with this diary tends to be this one just because it's the new multi pen from erin condren came in a seasonal surprise box but i believe will be available for general sale soon but you can see it's got five different colors so i can do a little bit of color coding and things with it as and when i want to and need to so it's like just one pen but i've got lots of different colors with it so it works quite well so i hope you found it interesting seeing how i set up my planner for 2021 i'd love it if you leave me a comment let me know are you setting up your planner or have you already and what's your system look like i'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up it lets me know you're enjoying the content i'm producing like i said i'll link everything i've used underneath in case you're trying to find any of it but feel free to ask me any questions if there's anything i haven't mentioned or you're curious about and I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.